Hello and welcome to a new uh, episode on how to use Cambridge Online Resources. Today we discuss how to use Cambridge One. It's a new platform that Cambridge University has developed in order to uh, integrate all the e-sources in one website. The website you have to look into is cambridgeone.org slash home. So this is the first page or the uh, uh, front interface of the website. If this is your first time into this website, you're gonna need to sign up. Signing up into this website, you have three options, whether you're a learner, teacher, or parent. So in our case, if you're a teacher, you should choose teacher. Click next. In order to sign up, you have three uh, options, either to sign up using your Facebook account, Google account, or entering your data. So for example, I'll try using my own credentials. All right. Please don't forget to accept terms and conditions. And if you uh, would like to, uh, click the check button for notifications. Oh, uh, I forgot to enter the country. So the country is Egypt in my case. Accept terms and conditions and sign up. It's going to send you a verification email, so right away you go to your email to check. They're going to send you a link. All right, now it's time for going to the email to verify the website. So I opened my email, I found that I received an email from uh, cambridgeone.org. Just click verify. It's going to take you right away to uh, the verification, uh, the, uh, the Cambridge One page. Once you enter, right now we haven't used any keys so far. The website have automatically generated the class key. This is very important for you and for your, uh, in order to uh, pass on to your students, if you're going to have something mutual on the uh, website. So you have the class data, which is students' names and scores, assignments, and material. In our case, we're going to click on material. You have here two types of materials. Ones that will require you to enter a generation code, and ones that are available for free. The only one that's available for free here is the Practice Extra. Uh, this, is, uh, this will give you access to some activities that you can use in class. For example, here you can play a video and answer games. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. I'm, I'm Derek. Derek. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the big, big question. question. Today's, Today's big, big question, question is, is what, what is, is a family? family? Let's, Let's find, find out. out. This, this is, is Bob. Bob. Hello, Hello Bob. Bob. Okay. So I got two correct answers out of five. Not too bad, I can try again sometime later. But the most important part on this web page is the Presentation Plus feature. Once you click it, it's one of the resources that will require you to enter a verification code or activation code. In this case, you're going to use the codes that the company sent you. So you enter the code here, then click Activate. Once you activate, um, it downloads the software that you're going to install to your computer. I now have downloaded and installed one of the Presentation Plus uh, for the books that we teach. First step is to click record like the one I've done right now and click uh, Cambridge Little Steps, the Presentation Plus Share screen. Right now, I can do two things. Either to record this session and pass it uh, on via WhatsApp or upload it to uh, school uh, 
YouTube or Facebook page in order to uh, make it available for the students to, uh, to watch later while they are at home. This interface is highly interactive, so uh, you click the unit. You can surf through, through the unit. Or you can play the unit videos, like the one you have here. Okay. So it's feasible to be conducted, whether live or in class. Well, you have many other features that I would like uh, to let you explore it on your own, such as the teacher's book, the big book, and the flashcards. These flashcards are really interesting. You can view the card and play the sound. Okay. Or view the word if you choose to view it to the students or not. You have all the freedom to do whatever you want with this feature. Well, that's it for uh, using, uh, downloading and installing Presentation Plus. If you have any further questions, please don't hes hesitate to contact me right away. Thank you.